Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is game user settings view distance quality? So this one's gonna take a little bit of work to explain, but hopefully we'll cover everything and you'll get an understanding of how it works. Let me actually look at the note first to explain how simple it is and then I'll go into how complicated it is to actually use. The view distance quality is a pretty simple note. Because it's a game user settings node, of course we need to pull it off of our git game user settings. If we type in view distance, we're going to find a getter and a setter, and it's pretty simple. The setter takes in a value, it's an integer between 0 and 3, and the getter is going to give us back a value between 0 and 3 as well. 0 is basically low, and 3 is basically high. Epic traditionally refers to these things such as low, medium, high, and epic. Those are your standard settings. Now let me run my example. I've already changed a few things so I can show it in use, and then we'll explain how it works. But basically, the different view distance settings I have here, near, medium, far, and epic, or 0, 1, 2, and 3, are going to determine four items that have a view distance set up, if they show or not. I mean, it's as simple as that. So let's walk forward and you notice four cubes show up. And if I walk backwards, four cubes disappear. All of these cubes have a setting of 1,000 for the distance. So as I get farther away from them, like for example, this cube here is now over 1,000, so I'm not gonna see it, but these are all within 1,000. And of course, as I shift, the camera refresh room changes, and the distance between the camera and the item changes, and they come in and out. Now, if I was to adjust this, let's say, for example, let's go with something like this, where we can see all three. I change it to far and hit apply. It's gonna get rid of the three in the back. Medium is gonna get rid of the one next to me, and the near is gonna be even worse because it's closer. Let's make near show up. There we go. You can see near is pretty darn close. And let's do medium and hit apply. Well, we're not close enough for anything else. There we go. Far. Now we can see the other ones. And then Epic, of course, would give us everything. Let's see how these actually work in terms of setting them up. What they're going to require is under the rendering setting for the item, under the LOD for the desired max draw distance. By default, this is going to be zero. Let me change this cube back here to the default of zero, and let's run this example. Now we're going to see something different. I'm running at epic for my quality, but you notice only the back one is showing. And you can also see the sphere showing because it's unedited as well. And as we get closer to our thousand range limit, things come in and out. But no matter what settings I change it to, near to epic, this item is not disappearing. It's not using any desired max draw distance, therefore it's going to stay. Let's change it back to a thousand. We'll go ahead and hit save. And basically that's how it works. And the draw distance setting itself right here, zero through three is thought of more of a, like a multiplier. I don't know the exact numbers. According to the Epic webpage, it's something along 0.1 or 10% for zero, 40% for one, 70% for two and 100% for three. So take that with a grain of salt. You can obviously adjust it as needed. But the point is the view distance quality allows you to tailor how much is going to be shown based on the distance between the camera and the object and the desired max draw distance setting, which is right here. So it's a thousand in this case. Now you notice when I play and I start it up, nothing's visible on any of my settings. That's because I have it set to a lower number. It's a thousand. If I was to go back in and let's change this first cube to something like 2000, We'll go ahead and play it again. We're now actually going to be able to see it because my camera is within 2,000 units of the object when the game starts. You can see it there. And of course, if I adjust this to far and hit apply, well, it's still there. I'm within the range of the far setting. Medium changes it even better and near, well, it gets rid of it. So you can see my culling goes into effect. With near, you pretty much can't see much. 
until you're on it, depending on your settings. And those other items I could see if I could get close enough. We could change it to medium, for example, and things will come in and out of place based on my settings. You can see that there. Go back to far, and items will come back in. But this item will stay until I get far enough away where I'm no longer within the appropriate amount of units for it to be viewed. So that's how the view distance quality setter works. The getter is, like I said, pretty simple. We find the getter here, which is our view distance quality. We get it from a game user settings. It'll return back zero through three. And we can also use the setter to set that value. That is pretty much going to wrap up the view quality distance node. It is a more advanced feature. By default, simply turning it on will do nothing. The default settings for desired max draw distances for stack meshes is zero. You need to actually go in. You need to set up the draw distances. You need to set up LOD levels. You need to actually set up your game to take advantage of it. And if you do, your player can then adjust how far away and how close things come up. A normal use for this is something such as foliage, where you have grass on the ground and the player, grass is usually pretty performance heavy. So you'd set grass to have different levels of detail as well as different view distances. And the players with the lower end computers can set it to near. Therefore, things are only going to show up when they're near them. Less things are rendered. All your important things, of course, will stay up, like your ground and maybe buildings, but doodads and doohickeys and things like that, which aren't really important. Like, for example, you might not need to care that there is a chair outside of a building from half a kilometer away. So you may want it to only show up when you're closer, and of course the players with the lower end computers aren't going to care about 5,000 chairs around them. They're just going to care about the things near them because their computer doesn't run well and they're running at the lower view distance quality settings. 